What's going on YouTube? This is Necrostevo and we are here with week 6 of the Indigo League of Legends where we are going to battle U-Turn Crobat for the first time ever. Now, his link is in the description for his channel. His side of the battle is already up, so definitely go check him out to get his thoughts because this was a very interesting battle. My opponent actually had a pretty glaring weakness to Caesar and his overall team, so I definitely wanted to bring Caesar. And also, he didn't really have anything to take hits from Latios, so I brought Choice Specs Latios as well. Uh, on his side, I was very worried about Landorus because I decided against bringing Mega Glalie. Uh, while Mega Glalie definitely checks Landorus very nicely, the rest of his team didn't really have too much trouble with Mega Glalie, and I knew he could also run Mega Metagross, which will make Glalie a huge liability. Uh, so I ended up running Mega Caesar this week with a, with a special, special defensive build thanks to uh, my co-coach Aqua Clauncher's suggestion. Uh, I played with the EVs on Drapion Alive, or a brand new Drapion for this battle, because I wanted something that could take hits from the likes of Crobat and Mega Metagross if necessary, while still being able to hit back and most importantly set up uh, Toxic Spikes, because I knew he would probably be bringing to Flojin because of how much it threatened my team. Now I did start off with Ambipom, just because of the ability to have good Neutral coverage, and if he switched into Metagross, I would love any extra damage on Metagross that I could get. Uh, he actually just goes right out into his Melodic, which is nice. I get to make sure that this, this is a defensive Melodic and get a little bit of free damage off on it. Um, there's no reason for me to stay in here and take a Scald, because I definitely don't want Ambipom Burn. So I go out into my Latios here, and fortunately I don't get burned. Um, I'm able to hit him with a Choice Specs Boosted Thunderbolt which I knew he did not see coming. You don't really see Latios running Thunderbolt. And it's really an inferior coverage move, unless you know that your opponent's going to have water types like in the league here. Uh, I didn't want to lock into Draco Meteor that early because that would give him an opportunity to bring in Meta Metagross and set up with anything like that. So Thunderbolt was definitely the best move. Unfortunately, I take a lot of damage from Dragon Tail as he fortunately does force me out into Ambipom. Um, I declined to go for Fake Out here because I knew I could take him out from that range with a return. And if he switched out, something else is going to take a good chunk of damage. And I like the damage that I did to Crobat there. Uh, he definitely takes advantage of me um, before the battle. I just I neglected to switch Drapion's ability to battle armor. I figured, okay, I don't have time to grind any more BP right now. I don't have any more ability capsules. Let's just rock Sniper. And he crits me immediately. Now I went for a knockoff here instead of just setting up Toxic Spikes number one because I thought he would have a more useful item. I thought he would have Sharp Beak or something to boost his damage, but he does not. And furthermore, he gets another crit when I definitely would have lived another hit. I was going to set up my Toxic Spikes that turn. I really should have just set him up in the first place. Uh, but now let's just say Drapion has the correct ability. I use an ability capsule on him. We're good to go. Does not help me in the past though. I went on into Swellow since I since he had a Roost, I was really hoping that he was defensive or something like that, which meant that if he was not running max speed, Swellow could outspeed. Uh, he does Roost up on my predicted Protect, but it doesn't matter because Swellow does a lot of damage with Facade. It's boosted by Guts, it's Stab, and the damage gets doubled with the status item, so you, you really, really don't want to deal with that. Now right here, I should have just gone for Quick Attack. I had it. Uh, I thought that Latios could take the hit from Eruption better than it did. I definitely had Quick Attack ready to go, that's why I put it on Swallow. Um, and the damage from Eruption actually had me thinking that Teflosion was Choice Specs, not Choice Scarfed. Um, here I just go out into Amipom to scare it out. Uh, he has two Pokemon named Pretty and Pink, and Teflosion is named Metagross. So, fun, fun keeping up with that during the battle. But uh, since he brought in Melodic as kind of death fodder here, I just went for a knockoff in case he tried to save it or switch out into something else expecting to return. Um, any extra damage or removal items that I can get, I will certainly take. Uh, he goes back out into the Teflosion here, which confirms that he Scarfed instead of Specs like I thought he was. I go out into Blaziken going, oh, okay, he Scarfed, so I can take two Eruptions, right? Incorrect. Um, even a mid-damage roll on both of those Eruptions is enough to 2 KO Blaziken when Teflosion is at full health. So definitely should have set up the Toxic Spikes. Definitely should have gone for a quick attack when I had an opportunity to. Just just basic misplays slash bad luck with the hacks there. Uh, right here, I did put him in a position where he didn't really want to switch out. 
and um, after fake out damage, he can't take out my Ambipom. Uh, I just went for a knockoff on the secondary one there because I wanted to remove the Choice Scarf so that he didn't have the ability to use Choice Scarf to Flosion with Fire Blast instead of Eruption later on in the battle. And now that's great because he, of course, didn't really want to take extra damage on Landorus, who actually turns out to be a Rock Polish set. He didn't want to take extra damage on the Metagross because he didn't, doesn't have any way to restore his HP. And he's an agility set, so he needs all the HP he can get. Now, I do just go right ahead and go for just whatever extra damage I can get on Metagross as he goes for Meteor Mash, probably hoping for the attack boost there. And we finally get a chance to go out into Mega Caesar. I did these calcs before the battle, on the, and it was a really random thing here because I didn't think I'd run into it. I was like, on the off chance that he brings Hidden Power Fire, Mega Metagross, I want to be able to take those hits. And Mega Caesar with max special defense and max HP takes those hits very, very well. Um, I did, it was critical that I got two Swords Dances here. I needed to get to plus four in order to not only KO the Mega Metagross and still be at decent HP, but I also wanted to make sure I KO'd any random bulky variant of Lanaris that he had. Uh, he goes for yet another hidden power. I am um, getting back a little bit more HP than he's doing. And I was just worried that he was going to crit me at some point based on the damage that he was doing to Drapion earlier with those crit Brave Birds. Uh, but fortunately, I managed to live the next Hidden Power Fire with 18 HP or so, get that HP back, and now I'm at a range where he's going to hit me with Hidden Power Fire. And I, after I heal this time from Roost, I'm going to have a decent amount of HP remaining even after that. So that's great. I have my plus two, I'm um, sorry, plus four from Swords Dance. Bullet Punch now with Technician Boost will be able to KO everything that he has left, which will be Gardevoir and, of course, his um, Landorus. So that's going to clean up the game. Uh, a couple of misplays in there, but they didn't end up mattering too much. I do question him not just switching out into, Mega, into Metagross against Ambipom earlier on. Um, granted, I would have gotten the damage off on Tiflosion, so I would have still been able to set up with my Caesar at some point, because either he would have had Metagross in against Amipom, knocked it out, then I would have brought in a Caesar, or he would have saved the Tiflosion, and then I would have had the opportunity to hit Tiflosion with a plus two or plus four bullet punch. So it's it's hard to say if that battle would have gone differently if not for the hacks. But either way, I still really enjoyed it. I thought he prepared appropriately for my team. Did not expect what he brought. In its entirety so it was still a good battle though either way i hope you guys enjoyed look forward to the next match that i have up against mac it's actually a run back from the first indigo league of legends where i got brutally destroyed by black Kurum. so we will do our best next week to have that battle and really give him some payback for that because he's a good battler and uh he deserves a good battle here so we'll see you guys next week and i'll talk to you later bye